being president of the organization was a very demanding job. Sure. Uh, and uh, I gained uh, about 20 pounds. Uh, <laughs> you're not at home uh, eating. Uh, but I want, what I want to mention is that they voted in 2013 for a room at the uh, courtyard uh, for a ninth, nine month period. We were treated really well by staff and they recognized uh, you as an RTO member and made you feel uh, at home. I've got to say that uh, like a regular family uh, and I treated uh, the uh, executive as a member of my second family, and my second home was the courtyard. You know, we didn't agree on everything. However, there were still family members. When we went out for suppers at night, uh, it was co always cordial. There was no uh, infighting from that point of view. When uh, District 27 uh, came on board with RTOERO, the formation of District 27 in Ottawa Carleton, there were 7,000 uh, members. That was 1971. Uh, I believe that we're getting closer to 75, and I firmly believe that uh, we are going to um, reach a milestone which is even better than, than, than that. I think, I think we are right now uh, a source of information. So from that point of view, we're doing uh, a lot of uh, good work and it's being spread throughout uh, Canada. It's becoming evident that Senate will not be as important as before. There's a group of, it's gonna be called the board, and, and to me that's a concern. I, I know why it's being done, because we wanna take the risk away from senators, but on the other hand, uh, too much, inf too much uh, power with a small group of people may, may not, who knows, uh, be not be too healthy. I don't know yet. We'll we'll see what what happens. Uh, in 2010, when I joined the executive, one of the first duties that I had was uh, to speak at districts, and um, the very first district was uh, District 38, uh, Sarnia, and I arrived there prepared to talk about the subject of the day. But when I arrived there, they asked me to give the prize, a $10,000 donation that RTOERO gives every year to a worthy uh, organization uh, for the children of fallen soldiers. You can well imagine that uh, anything that I had planned on saying uh, went aboard, overboard. Uh, it was a very emotional uh, situation, as you can well imagine. And uh, to me, uh, Carpal Poland will <clears throat> be forever remembered by the people going to college and benefiting from uh, this trust fund that was set up uh, for them. Uh, so that's uh, made me realize how important RTO ERO is uh, by giving this uh, money to that organization. Another situation that happened is in 2013, RTOERO uh, voted to transfer uh, $3 million from the interests of our funds uh, to the foundation, the RTOERO Foundation uh, for a Chair in Geriatrics at the University of Toronto. And to me, there's one quotation that really struck. It was, work hard at it, make it happen. And we did transfer the $3 million uh, for that chair. So to me, uh, that was something that I will cherish forever because we're doing something for the seniors uh, in Ontario and I dare say throughout Canada and the world. 